What's up, guys? Thanks for coming back. Uh, if you've been here before, uh, thanks for visiting. If you're here for the first time, Night's Edge here. <clears throat> Doing a little overview, review of the BRS Evolve Navajo knife. Um, BRS stands for Blade Runner Systems. It's a collaboration knife between uh, Dervish Knives and John Gonzalez. Kind of like a mid to full size knife. Uh, overall, I'd, I'd say it's a pretty good knife. Uh, got its pros and cons. I was going to go over that here shortly. You can get the knife right now on Blade HQ's website. I got it on sale a couple of years ago. Um, maybe a year and a half ago, I guess. For a Cyber Monday black friday cyber monday sale i think i got it on sale actually for like 95 bucks or something like that i got a pretty good deal on it but uh even paying full price for it i think it's, it's still overall it's worthwhile um go ahead and show it up close green g10 scales drop point blade thumb hole actuated liner lock now you can do the front flip on it but for me at least it's kind of hard to front flip it that is one way to deploy it i just prefer to do the middle finger flick and open it like that of course you can thumb hole open it two-handed open it but to me that little slot's perfect for the middle finger opening <clears throat> um go ahead and do size comparisons on it that's the Spyderco PM2. Fairly close to the PM2. A little shorter overall. Spyderco PM3. A little bit longer. A little more blade length than the PM3. Do the Demco. 80 20.5 in the shark's foot blade overall fairly close to that but a lot more sharpened blade length <clears throat> microtech stitch with the handle and the tip too i guess the, the stitch is overall just a bigger knife a lot more presence a lot broader of a blade um BRS Navajo, more cutting edge though. And let's see, do one more Quiet Carry. That is the Quiet Carry 9. I'll have a review coming soon for that one. A little more presence uh, as far as weight than the 9. 9's actually got a broader blade, I believe. Yeah, different blade shape and everything. Um, Navajo has more sharpened blade length thanks that, uh, the way it's upswept. Do a measurement on it here. Total overall length coming at a hair under eight inches, right at seven and seven eighths total <clears throat> overall length. If you include that little spot at the back that sticks out there, right at eight inches, um, just a hair under three and a half inch cutting edge on it, um, blade length, uh, it's right at three and five eighths, just a little more. Got a little bit of a semblance of a sharpening troll right there, not too much. I kind of wish they would have kind of cut that out a little bit more for a sharpening troll on the knife. Get the calibers out. Can do a uh, overall here blade stock thickness. All right, if you measure right there at the spine, thickest part, I'm coming in at 120 thousandths. That's right. Let's try it again, just to make sure.
Yeah, right at a hundred and depending on where you measure it at there, I guess. Hundred and twenty three thousandths right at <clears throat> thickness behind the edge. Thinnest part, very thinnest part behind the edge, twenty seven thousandths. It's a slicey little knife behind the edge. Um it's not the thinnest you know, slicer I've ever messed with by any means, but it's not a bad little bad little slicer. Hollow grind, pretty good. I guess a compound grind, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. How it hollows out from here going down. Um but you got this bevel on the top on both sides. And let's see, we'll finish up measurements. I actually have a treat for you guys today. If you've seen anything on this channel before, check that out. That is a scale, but unlike the other scale I had on the channel, you can see the numbers on camera. All right. So we'll do a measurement on it. Quick little measurement. Weight measurement i guess put that on there i got 4.3 ounces four point three ounces all right so for three and a half inches of cutting edge four point three ounces if you go with the ounce and inch ratio blade to blade to ounce ratio whatever that's not too bad pretty good i think <clears throat> Definitely not a lightweight knife. I mean, I wouldn't put on gym shorts and run around the block with it on, but it's nowhere near like a heavyweight knife, something that'll pull the pants off of you. All right, check the clip out. See what we're working with. It is right hand only tip up carry. It's not ambidextrous, but uh, yeah, it's kind of like a deep carry. Some nice clips, milled out, nice clip looks nice to me um but that'll be what you're looking at sticking out of pocket whenever you're carrying it not too bad overall uh, my thoughts is it's a sleeper knife I'd, I'd call it like a sleeper hit because it's a it's a pretty good knife and for the m390 i don't know if i mentioned that or not m390 on the blade for m390 steel um titanium liner lock with a uh insert in there it's got a little stop in there i don't know if you can see it or not you can see it kind of little titanium insert um m390 blade steel great ergonomically it's another thing i like it though <clears throat> you can feel the clip on it but it's not like overwhelming it's not a hot spot or anything like that Got jimping up top, good jimping up top. If you choke up on it, you can cut just fine. It's really comfortable. Contoured on the handles, rounded and contoured off slightly. It's got a nice little uh, backspacer there. I think the backspacer too. Let me check that out here. Get the magnet. No, I think that's the liners. Must be like an aluminum bag spacer. Um, whoop. All right. Lanyard hole too there, by the way, for the four people left in the world that use a lanyard or care about it. Um, for the price, this is an excellent, excellent little knife, I think. It, uh, the M390, I don't know how Blade Runner Systems, uh, I don't know how they heat treat their M390. I don't know if it's hard, soft, or what. Um, that doesn't really say on their website what the heat treat is on it. And I definitely don't have the equipment to test HRC here at the house. But, um, I've used the heck out of this thing. I do know that, and it will hold an edge pretty good. Um, I took it to the beach last year, 
whenever we went to Orange Beach and I uh, had it in my swim trunks when I went out in the Gulf and it got sand all in it. And uh, I took it apart. It's riding on Teflon, um, Teflon bearings. <clears throat> it's riding on bearings in there, with Teflon inserts in it. Took it all apart, um, put it back together, and got the sand and everything out of the out of the bearings, and it just opens and closes just as smooth as you would want it to. Kind of a unique shape, really. Um, a boxy at this end with the front flipperish thing down there they got going on. Nice little gold and green uh, color. Unique looking clip. Um, it's a nice knife, really. And I mean, nobody's screaming their lungs, screaming at the top of their lungs about it from the rooftops like they are some other knives that to me are of equally as good quality um <clears throat> did a little hardware check i forgot to do that earlier i think it's all t6 except for the pivot clip screws yeah that's a t6 and if this one is a t8 yeah that's a t8 pivot Pivot to T8. Yep. So T8 pivot, every other screw on it, hardware on it is a uh, T6. Uh, not a hard knife to take apart, clean, put back together. Um, really, I don't see a reason why you should have to take it apart unless, you know, you go take it out into the Gulf and, you know, take it to the beach or whatever and get sand and stuff all in it. But it cleans up nice. So. Uh, Cleans up nice, went back together really easy. Was it's just been a, a really nice to carry use overall. I've I've very much liked everything about this knife. It's a great knife. But, uh, that is the BRS Evolve Navajo. If uh, you guys want to buy it, it is available as of the time of me putting this video out on Blade HQ's website. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I'm not affiliated with them or anything. It doesn't help my channel. I just kind of do it to make it easier. That's the only link I could find for for this one aside from the Blade Runner website. But um, BRS Navajo, good little EDC knife. I would recommend that one. And that's about it for today. This is the Night Edge, Night's Edge. Subscribe, like the video if you haven't. Um, Thanks for watching. Appreciate everything and come back for another one. Thanks.